Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and these are my 2022 gift ideas for gamers. So with Christmas and the holiday season just around the corner, you might be on the lookout for ideas for yourself or for friends and family. So what I've done is compile a list of accessories and items that you might not normally think of as a gift. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Ugreen and their new chargers, but more on that later. As always, I've linked to every item that I show you in today's video down below. Oh, and some of the footage today was filmed in my old house before I moved, as the new one is still being worked on. Right, so first up, I want to show you these awesome picture frames from Grid Studio. So I've got a few here, including the DualShock controller from PlayStation, the PlayStation Vita, and the Game Boy Color. So what Grid actually have done is they've taken an item such as the DualShock controller, dismantled it, and arranged it in a way that it looks like a piece of art. It's such a clever idea, and it looks really nice. For me, this one is definitely my favourite so far out of their entire collection. But it's not just the item that looks good, even the packaging that it comes in feels and looks like a premium gift. Now I'll be hanging a few of these on my walls over the coming weeks, and I think it's a great way to show your love for tech in a totally different way. If you check out their site below and you use my link, you will save 10% on the items. So this next one might seem obvious, but games or still books are an awesome gift. You've got physical games which will make a better gift than a digital code would, but then there are still books as well. So these are normally limited or collector edition cases and look far nicer than the normal plastic one. Sometimes you can only get these when pre-ordering a game, but if you look on places like eBay, you'll probably find a second-hand one on there anyway. For me, there's something special about still books, and it's one of the only reasons that I still buy some of my games physically. But if you've completely ran out of ideas, and you don't want to buy somebody a game in case they already have it, well, you could always just buy them a gift card. This way you or them can spend it on whatever they'd like, games, add-ons, or in-game credit. Now, if you do buy digital games or credit, my only advice is do not buy them directly from the online PlayStation or Xbox stores. Instead, buy your top-up cards from legitimate online websites like Shop2 or CD Keys. This way, you can save anywhere between 5 and 15% off the normal price. So, for example, when I buy a £90 gift card, it normally only costs me about £78. That naturally means any digital games that I purchase are now cheaper. And this is the way that I've purchased most of my games over the last 10 years. This next one is great if you've already got a PlayStation and an iPhone, and that's this Backbone 1 controller. So it connects to your iPhone using the Lightning port, and then it lets you control and play games on your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. There are of course cheaper ways to do this, such as using the DualSense controller and a mobile clip, but this is a nice and compact way to play it. And as this is an officially licensed PlayStation accessory, it's got the PlayStation brand in and the buttons throughout. The only thing this doesn't have are the symmetrical analog sticks, as these are laid out differently just like on the Xbox and the Switch controllers. And what's great is this controller doesn't just work for the PS4 and PS5. You can use it to play any controller compatible mobile games, so things like Call of Duty Mobile or any racing games that you might have. It's a great gift if you're into mobile gaming or on the move a lot. And talking about controllers, can you ever really have too many? Well, you obviously get one with any console that you buy, but if you wanted to play local co-op or split screen, you'll want to add another. Also, as there are so many different colours and designs to choose from, there's probably one that will match your setup or the theme and style that you're going for. For me, the purple or the grey camouflage controllers are definitely my favourite. And if you look around at the current sale prices, you can save yourself about $20 to $30. But if you wanted to up your game, you could go for a Pro Controller instead. So something like the Scuff or even the new DualSense Edge controller that comes out in January. These cost a lot more than a normal controller, sometimes three to four times the price. But you do get the added paddles as well as customizable buttons. And sticking with the controller theme, instead of throwing your controller down on your desk, there are stands, mounts, and holders that you can use for them. I've used a few different ones, but I keep coming back to the wooden ones from Geek Made Designs. They sell a few different designs to choose from, and they fit most of the controllers that are out there. And if you don't want to spend money on a pro controller, you could always add some thumbsticks instead. So I've used these from Control Freaks on my controllers before I got my scuff, and having the right analog stick taller than the left has definitely helped with my accuracy in FPS games. It's only a cheap accessory, but it can sometimes completely change the way that you play a game. So I've talked about Ugreen chargers before, but I wanted to mention four chargers that they have on their Black Friday sale. There's the new Nexode Mini 30 Watt foldable plug, and this thing is tiny. It has a USB-C port on the bottom, and you can charge the iPhone 14 up to three times faster than the 5 watt plug. Then there's the Ugreen Nexode 65 watt desktop charger. Now what I like about this is the fact that it's compact enough to sit on your desk, yet it still has four ports for charging multiple devices. Then there's the Nexode 140 watt charger, which is definitely my new favourite. This has actually replaced my MacBook charger as the single USB-C can deliver up to 140 watts. You can also charge two laptops at the same time, or a laptop, phone, and an iPad or Switch. 
And finally, this little 7-in-1 USB-C hub. If you've got a MacBook that needs either an HDMI, network, SD card, or more USB ports, this is perfect for that. It only takes up one USB-C port, and then it gives you an extra seven ports to use. Plus, it works at 4K 60Hz when connected to an external display. All of these are massively discounted on Ugreen's Black Friday sale. I've linked to that below if you want to check it out. Now, something you might have noticed in my setups is that they are usually black and gray. And the way that I add color is actually via the RGB lighting. This is definitely one of the easiest and cheapest ways to completely transform the look of your room. With a few light bulbs or light strips, your setup can look completely different. Now, I'm actually using a combination of different bulbs. I've got LifeX, Govi, and Philips Hue. And if you get yourself a colored light bulb, you'll be able to choose any color including white. Then simply link them up to your Google Home or Alexa speaker, and you've created a whole new look for your setup. Personally, I prefer using the LifeX range as you don't need a bridge and the app is awesome. Right, so if you've got a PlayStation 5, this next one's for you. So you know the plates on the side of the PS5 are removable? Well, there are now loads of official colors to choose from. This includes black, blue, purple, and my new favorite, the gray camo. Now, they aren't cheap for two bits of plastic, but they do completely change the whole look of your console, which means it could fit into your setup a little bit better if you've got a different color theme going on. And while we're talking about customizing the look of it, if you don't like the glossy finish on the middle, you can change that to a matte skin. I've gone for the matte black skin from dbrand, but you can get them off eBay and Amazon too, and there's loads of colors to pick from. And if you are downloading or buying loads of games, you'll probably run out of storage quite quickly. Now, if you've got ultra fast broadband, that won't be a problem, as you could always delete the games and then just re download them. But if you're like me, it's probably worth having extra storage to store them locally. So there are two options when it comes to adding extra storage to a console. One is to use an external drive where the games can be stored on them and then transferred over to the internal storage console when you need to play them. Or you can purchase an M.2 drive for the PlayStation 5 or the official Seagate drive for the Xbox. These then let you store and play the games directly from these drives. So there's no need to transfer them over to the console. I've actually been using the Corsair MP600 Pro on the PlayStation 5, as well as the official one for the Xbox. So far, these have been great and I've had no issues at all. So if you're playing online, chatting with your mates, or you're at a desk set up without speakers, you're going to want to get yourself a pair of headphones. Now, I've covered a lot of headphones on the channel from Astro, PlayStation, SteelSeries, Xbox, and Sony. They all have their strengths and weaknesses, but they all offer great sound for the price point. So if you want an entry-level headset, I would look at something like the Astro A10s. These are a cheap and affordable wired headset, and they will work across most of the consoles. Next up are the Steel Series 7s. You can get the 7Ps for PlayStation or the 7Xs for Xbox. The advantage if you go for the 7X version is they will work across both consoles. And finally, my current favorites are the Nova Pros. These are a wired headset, but they are also available in wireless. The sound quality on these are incredible, but they're probably a little bit pricey as a gift idea. Now, there are loads of other gaming accessories that I'd love to cover. There's branded merch, things like cups and glasses. These are a cool accessories to have on your shelves. You could even get yourself a desk pad, whether that's a leather one or a felt one, because they always look nice in a setup. And going back to the headphones, where you could get yourself a headphone stand as well. Like how many times do you throw your headset down on your desk or hook it onto your console? I've been using one from Grove made on my desk, and I've got this wooden one from Geek Made Designs on my shelves. So was there a favorite from any of these ideas that I've shown you today? For me, the must-have purchase has got to be a pair of headphones. But the DualShock frame is a close second. This thing is a piece of art. Also, let me know if you would like to see a sort of a budget accessory video from me. You know, like a top 10 accessories for under $50. Now drop a I'm a gamer in the comments and I'll give you a thumbs up for staying right till the end. And if you did enjoy today's video, check out my new house tour video next, as it covers every room in the new house along with my plans for each one. Thanks for watching. Please like, sub and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.